Summary of Measure for Measure by William Shakespeare The Duke of Vienna appoints a nobleman, Angelo, to manage the city and enforce the law while he, the Duke, is away traveling. He tells Angelo to follow the law and says that he will stay in the city secretly, dressed as a friar, to see how the city reacts to Angelo's stricter enforcement of the law. Angelo gives Claudio the death penalty some time after the Duke leaves. This is because Claudio got Juliet pregnant before they were married. Lucio, a friend of Claudio's, tells Claudio's sister Isabella, who has started training to be a nun, about this. Isabella doesn't like what Claudio did because it goes against her religious views, but Lucio convinces her to ask Angelo for forgiveness. She makes her case to Angelo, who seems to feel more and more sorry for her. He tells her to come back tomorrow to find out what he's going to do. Angelo, who is proud of his ice-cold attitude and refusal to give in, is upset when he realizes that he is in love with Isabella. The next day, he gives her an offer, if she sleeps with him, he'll let her brother go. Isabella is too innocent at first to understand Angelo's hints, and when he asks her directly, she refuses because she is disgusted by the idea. She goes to see Claudio in jail and tells him what happened. At first, he supports her choice to stay pure. Claudio changes his mind, though, and begs his sister to take Angelo up on his offer. Isabella is upset by what her brother wants. But the masked duke shows up and tells her to set up a relationship between Angelo and Isabella. When it's time to seduce Angelo, Isabella will be replaced by Mariana, Angelo's ex fiance whom he left after she lost her brother in dowry in a shipwreck. But even after this meeting, Angelo goes back on his word and orders Claudio's head to be cut off. At the Duke's request, the jail's provost tricks Angelo by sending him the head of a dead pirate and telling him it belongs to Claudio. Angelo gets a letter from the Duke telling him that he will soon be back in Vienna. When he gets there, the Duke asks for a public meeting in front of the city walls, where people can go to complain about wrongdoings. When Angelo reads this letter, he gets nervous and wonders if Isabella will tell everyone about him. He also feels bad that he killed Claudio out of fear of being punished. Isabella speaks out against Angelo at the meeting, but the now-naked Duke acts like he doesn't believe her. Even though Mariana tells her story, the Duke is still not convinced. The Duke then comes back dressed as a friar, and Lucio says that he was rude to the Duke. In the fight that follows, the Duke's mask is taken off. After his disguise was found out, the Duke did something that was long overdue. He makes Angelo marry Mariana, and even though the Duke wants to kill Angelo, Mariana and Isabella talk him out of it. Claudio is allowed to marry Juliet, and Lucio is punished and forced to marry the woman who gave him a child even though he didn't want to. The Duke finally asks Isabella to change her mind about becoming a monastic vows and marry him instead. About the author. William Shakespeare was the son of John Shakespeare, a wealthy leather worker, and Mary Arden, a well-known farmer's daughter. Shakespeare's schooling only extended as far as the elementary school level. In 1582, he married in Hathaway, and the two of them had three kids. Around 1590, Shakespeare left his family and went to London, where he worked as an actor and wrote plays. Shakespeare was an instant hit. He quickly became the most famous writer of his time and a part owner of the Globe Theatre. In 1603, King James gave his acting group the name The King's Men. Shakespeare moved to Stratford-upon-Avon in 1613 when he was wealthy and well-known. He died there three years later. Shakespeare wrote 39 plays and more than 150 works. To this day, he is still the most well-known and respected writer in the English language. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.